Wearing classic Tuscan red and five gold cat whisker stripes, Pennsylvania Railroad number 4890, a GG1, may look old and well-worn. You are, however, looking at one of the most famous electric locomotive models in the world and arguably one of the finest locomotives ever constructed. The GG1s were built by the Pennsylvania Railroad to pull as many as 18 to 25 heavyweight passenger cars. The GG1 drew its power from overhead wires called catenary that carried 11,000 volts of electricity. Towers, called pantographs, extended from the top of the locomotive, directing power from the catenary to the engine. The GG1 is capable of providing a continuous 4,602 horsepower, which allowed it to travel at 100 miles per hour. The GG1s are bi-directional, which means they can be operated in either direction. They have no front or back. This is very significant in terms of time and convenience. The locomotive did not need to be put on a turntable to be turned at the end of its run. The GG1s operated into Pennsylvania Station in New York City. Access to the station is underground where there is no space to turn a locomotive. The locomotive's streamlined body and center crew cab afforded the crew an extra measure of safety in case of a head-on collision. Industrial designer Raymond Lowy developed the aerodynamic shape of the GG1 and used a welded skin instead of rivets to hold the body panels together. He also added the gold stripes on the side. Built on an articulated frame, the locomotive can negotiate tighter curves while maintaining speed. There is one significant problem with Mr. Lowy's streamlined GG1 body. During a blizzard in 1958, many of the GG1s short-circuited and couldn't run. Fine snow, caused by very low temperatures, was sucked into the air intakes low on the body. The snow reached the electrical components and stalled the GG1s. The large air intakes were moved higher on the hood, closer to the pantograph towers to solve this problem. Number 4890 received this modification. If you stand between the GG1 and Union Pacific number 4017, the big boy, you can see the scars of this modification. Notice that the air intake is located high on the body and there is a patch on the lower body where the intake was originally located. A total of 139 GG1s were built between 1934 and 1943. Pennsylvania Railroad number 4890 was built in 1941. It is the only electric motor in the museum's collection. Amtrak took ownership of the 4890 in 1971 and ran it until 1981.